These notes are on um, writing radicals as exponents. Um, and we're gonna look at two different methods for doing this uh, that you um, learned about in class. So the first method is using a geometric mean. We're looking at a geometric sequence. That's what exponents are. They're a geometric sequence. So if you'll remember back from um, Math 1 um, and some notes that were given, um, I believe, in Module 1 of, of Math 2, um, geometric mean um, means to find the num missing numbers in the table um, where you're given two or three of the numbers already. So what I'm looking at here is I'm looking at going from 2 to 6. When I go from 2 to 6, I have to take two jumps. So I have to multiply 2 by something, we'll call it r, and then multiply that number here by r again in order to get 6, which means I have 2 times r times r is going to equal 6. That's 2 r squared equals 6, r squared equals 3, which means r equals the square root of 3. So now I can fill in my table here, and I can fill it in by saying, oh, I have, um, I'm going to multiply by square root of 3 each time, so that's 2 square root of 3 times the square root of 3 gives me 6. 6 times the square root of 3 is 6 square root of 3. 6 square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is 6 square root of 9, which is 6 times 3, which is 18. I have 18 square root of 3. Um, 18 square root of 3 times the square root of 3 equals 18 square root of 9, which is 18 times 3, which is 24, 54. And then 54 times the square root of 3 is 54 square root of 3. Now we have a second method um, that we can use where we're using the equation. So um, if we go back and we pretend that we don't have these middle terms here. Instead, we just look at the 0, um, 2, and 1, 6. So what I'm doing here each time is I'm multiplying by 3, which means that if I write this as my equation, f of x equals 2 times 3 to the x power. That's the equation. So now I can plug in these values in to my equation. So I have 2 times 3 to the 1 half, 2 times 3 to the 3 halves, 2 times 3 squared, which is 18, 2 times 3 to the 5 halves, 3, whoops, excuse me, 2, times 3 cubed, which is 54, and 2 times 3 to the 7 halves. Now, there are ways to simplify these square roots that we haven't, these uh, powers, excuse me, that we haven't talked about yet. Um, but if I look above, in order for these tables to be the same, which they should be, I'm using the original information, they should be the same. It turns out that these two must be the same, which means the square root of 3 must equal 3 to the 1 half power. It also, so I can now, I can now rewrite all radical expressions as exponents. And we're going to explore this idea further, but for now, I think it's really important to notice this pattern that in order for these tables to represent the same um, information, which it has to, because that's what I'm trying to do, um, the square root of 3 must equal 3 to the 1 half.